Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from The Loopy Lamb and TheLoopyLamb.com and this week I sat down with this book, Crochet Journey by the talented designer Mark Roseboom, also known as The Guy with the Hook. And today I'll be sharing with you my in-depth review of Crochet Journey. We'll talk about the resources available for the for makers in the book. I'll share a sneak peek of some of the patterns you'll find in the book and there's a chance to win a copy of Crochet Journey as well. So keep watching to learn more about this new crochet pattern book and how you can enter to win a copy of the book for yourself. Thank you to our friends at David and Charles Publishing for providing me with a copy of this book in exchange for my honest review. So Crochet Journey, in addition to its crochet patterns, contains short stories of the remarkable journeys that the author Mark has taken around the world. The crochet creations in this book are inspired by different cultures, places, and experience had during his travels. Mark has traveled to the most interesting places, and I found reading his stories to be similar to sneaking a peek into someone's personal diary, each story a cherished memory committed to paper. Mark's fascinating personal travel stories are definitely worth the read and can take you on your own mini global crochet adventure. He visits really unique destinations like uh, New Zealand, Turkey, Indonesia, and Japan, just to name a few, and his travels always take him off the beaten path. This 128-page book contains the patterns for 12 different crochet patterns inspired by locations visited by the author. These patterns are for various accessories and home decor items. The patterns are the Rivendell Shawl, the Santa Maria Maggiore Rug, I'm not sure I'm saying that right, the Kamakura Pin Cushion, The Nazar Mandala, the Fading Lights Scarf, the Rituals Poof, the Irish Shores Blanket, Portuguese Tiles, Kamet's Mandala, my personal favorite, the Rainbow Subway Blanket, the La Boca Shawl, and the Templar Cross Table Runner. The patterns in this book are written in the U.S. terminology, but I could not find a conversion chart in the book that uh, it would help those that are familiar with the UK terminology. So if you are more familiar with the UK terminology over the U.S., then you'll have to do some Googling to find a conversion chart to help you out. Before starting to any of the patterns in this book, I recommend checking out Mark's tips and tricks on pages six and seven of the book. This is where you're going to find the information that'll help you make the beautiful crochet items in this book, as there aren't really any other resources available in the book for makers in terms of support. I found the patterns themselves to be relatively clear and much easier to execute than they look. However, with that being said, this book would not be accessible to most beginner crocheters. This is definitely a book that is geared towards a maker with at least intermediate level crochet experience. Each pattern in the book includes the full pattern as well as a color work chart or a stitch charts or diagram. On page nine, you'll find the stitch abbreviations and next to each abbreviation, you'll find the coordinating crochet diagram symbol for that stitch. On my blog, you can find a high level breakdown of the tools and materials used in this book for each of the designs. And you, I've linked that for you in the description box below. In Crochet Journey, the author makes a note on page seven here, indicating that they made the choice not to include stitch tutorials in the book. They recommend doing a Google or YouTube search to find video tutorials should you need assistance with any of the techniques in the book. I found this to be really interesting as most publishers want to keep uh, a crochet book like this uh, mostly self-contained and not require the maker to go outside of the, the book to find those resources. So I did find that really interesting and it also kind of solidified my thought that this book really is geared towards more experienced crocheters. There are a variety of different techniques in, used in the book. I really like Mark's cabling technique that he uses. It's one that I use for my designs as well. And there's a lot of different color, interesting color work technique like mosaic crochet used as well. So really beautiful designs. And uh, I love these stories that are, uh, that accompany each design that give you the inspiration behind them. 
Overall, I really enjoyed reading Crochet Journey and Mark's interesting travel stories that provide a lot of insight to the inspiration behind the designs in the book. I would recommend this title for intermediate to advanced level crocheters that are familiar with all the basic stitches or are willing to go searching online for additional support. Thanks to our friends at David and Charles Publishing, I have a copy of this book to give away to one lucky winner. To enter, head on over to the written version of this review on my blog, where you'll find the entry form at the bottom of the page, as well as the full giveaway rules and details. I have a link to that in the description box below. So that's it for me today, friends. I hope that you found this review helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you have any questions or experience with this book, please share them in the with our community in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.